प्रिंस बोलो सिटी ओंकारेश्वर भगवान की जय कौन पथ हनुमान की जय ओंकारेश्वर भगवान की जय सीताराम बिलाव दीपोचिस एंड वेलकम टू धर्म सत्यम ऑन दिव्य प्रकाश के संगीत ऑनलाइन रेडियो दिस आफ्टरनून एस वी जॉइन टुगेदर टू द ग्रेस एंड ब्लेसिंग्स ऑफ दैट सुप्रीम लॉर्ड वी मेड लव एंड अप्रिशिएशन टू ऑल ह्यूमैनिटी that we are able to take this journey of life together as we share dharma satyam with you that dharma which is always truthful to each other on today's program devotees we will be experiencing the origin of sanatan dharma on this earthly plane and through that great dharma of ours we are able to practice this dharma in the year 2019 with truthfulness humbleness and devotion to that supreme lord whatever you may call that supreme lord name originally devotees this dharma in itself was developed in humble situation in what is called the forested area in the world under a tree discussion took place between brothers and sisters and to develop this dharma into what we know today there was no buildings there was no institution but a wave of compassion of that supreme lord Om Kari Shodha Bhagwan, through the grace and of His eternal blessings, that we were able to recognize this Sanatan Dharma, and this greatness of this Dharma devotees is not only practiced on this earthly plane; it is practiced throughout the universe, and this is why we have Swarga, which is the heavenly region, Patal. which is the lower region or hell and nature lok which is the earthly plane and these three areas of life devotees whatever you may do from time to time will give us that understanding of that supreme lord swagatam devotees and on this may month of 2019 in the arrival month it is approximately 174 years that our ancestors left bharat desh and come to the caribbean in 1845 and is not what we have gained from our ancestors during this period of time but what what we have achieved as devotees of that supreme lord with humbleness with truthfulness what is called the body the mind and the atma or soul and to add to those three what is called the vibration of the supreme lord is the key to our success in life so our ishta devta or ishta devi is what we call our favorite what name we may call that lord and by understanding this ishta devi or ishta devta it is important for us to know that we should undergo a transformation using one name only in the initial search for this truth of this dharma so it means to say that if your favorite is hanuman ji if your favorite is durga mata if your favorite is jesus the christ if your favorite is allah gautama buddha what will happen devotees is that when you are able to dedicate countless years to that one 
aspective name that you concentrate upon, when you discover the truth about that Ishtadeuta, your favorite, only then and then after a while that the rest of Davies and Deutas will be attracted to you. So in understanding, the reason I'm saying this is because when we, when we use many names, we will get diverted, the energy will get scattered. So when we do one-pointedness, and then when the truth starts to develop within the body of the individual, the mind at that point in devotees will be, he will receive the teachings from that eternal one. This eternal universal master is here, there, and everywhere. And by understanding that devotees, that he is here, there, and everywhere, it means to say that God is always in the present. To be truthful to you, where God is, it is called Mahakal, beyond time. Where the Lord is, no time is being checked. So it is a very wonderful, it is a great experience for us to concentrate on our Ishta Devta, our favorite. And what I would like to share with you today is the names of the Saptarishis. Atri, Bharatwaj, Gautam Mahadishi, Jamandagini, Kashyapa, Vashishmuni, and Vishwamintra. In our faith of Sanatana Dharma, these were the great rishis when the Lord took Matsavatara as the fish. And the, when the great flood came, that these rishis were able to be moving around in a boat until it's the, the um, flood subsided. And then these rishis re-established the continuation of uh, mankind in an in a era. So it means to say that these great rishis, we were born under one of these great rishis. And by being born under one of these great rishis, devoted to our lineage, our ancestry, going back to the Supreme Lord. It is said that, according to Norman scientists, that mankind was on earth for approximately 400,000 years ago. But if we understand from a Ramayan satsang, approximately 800,000 years ago, in this particular Kali Yuga, which is called the 27th Kali Yuga, that we were able to establish then that there were human beings many, many years before what conventional scientists are giving us for the estimated time of human beings on this earthly plane. So this bhumi matter, this dirty matter, this earth of ours must be protected. And what we should be protected from devotees, it may sound strange, but it is called lust, greed, and anger. Lust, greed, and anger is really the gateway to hell. And by controlling our desires, we are given the assurance that things will be well 
with all human beings. Today from what is called the Yajur Ved, which is the beginning of our Dharma devotees, I would like to share something about the Grihas Ashram. And this Grihas Ashram devotees, in essence it is called marriage life. And from understanding marriage life devotees, the reason I did not start at Brahmachari Ashram first is because I want you to understand the greatness of marriage life. So here, chapter 16 of the Yajud Ved, O man, O woman, the preacher of the true ideas, the learned teacher, preach the guardians of Vedic law, is establish thee in the world. For the diffusion of knowledge useful to, hun to humanity, and we too establish thee, regulate thy life according to the season, perform good action, love all that preach the truth, and cultivate friendly relation with each other. Om Madhivasya Prajaprahasti Sarayasyam Yasraviyasya Manasya Yadhi Chandaviyasya Yahamasti Ve Vayodhi Pratayi Sahadanjade Visharava Karma Vasya Kahayakti Danyite Yasyati Vajyasthe Vivasyam Dhyasyo Prishyasyavayasthe Yasvalam Chanda Purusha Prahasya Nandra Danyisya Yasyave Jho Yasyadayasthe Chanda Swati Gwanga Yasyachitaha Yasyedam Prashyate Bahase Yasi Taha Ti Dandai Yascha Kurusha Darnakri Abhe Yascha Ti Chanda. So here, devotees, what is called the four manifestation of what is called the the Brahmin class and the other that the Brahmin represents what is called the head or the body and the Chatri and the vice and the Sudra And it is important for us to recognize and give the appreciation by a bhajan to Hanumanji.
Welcome back, beloved devotees. My name is Pandit Raymond Dinanathuram Charan Maharaj, and accompanying me today is Pandit Devaram Supasad. As we are able to come and assist in these trying times that we live on this earthly plane, throughout the world, devotees, at this particular point in time that we experience difficulties whichever country we may see on this earthly plane and the only way that we can bring back this love and harmony and peace within each and everyone's heart is firstly to love and devotion to your supreme lord although we will say devotees that they are non-believers in the world it is for us who believe to assist those who do not believe in a divine energy or a divine aspiration this supreme eternal lord could be described as being nameless and the reason i'm saying nameless devotees because we have to understand the trickery in the mind from time to time. And it means to say, whatever you think of within your mind, it tries to produce a pitya. So what we call in yoga, to still the mind. And the only how you can achieve that is when the mind will be able to say, you know what? I'm waiting for instruction from the Atma or soul that is within us. So it means to say when we are not allowing our soul to lead our lives, we get into difficulties. The doorway, or some people will say the Lord have favorites, but I can assure you that God eternal is equal to all. On our earthly plane, there are 8,400,000 species of life, according to our scriptures. And it means to say not only human beings are important to God. And if we follow the avatars of Bhagwan Sri Hari Vishnu, we get to understand them, in essence, that if the Lord said that he will be coming as Kalki Avatar 
in in the near future, or I would not know how long from now, but if Kalki Avatar says that he will descend on the earth again, it means to say the Lord is saying that his mission will never finish. And likewise, we must believe in eternal life. And if while we are living, we have to claim our own eternal connection with that supreme individual soul, Atma, to that supreme soul, Paramatma. So, the verse I read just now from the Jajud Ved, it explains that the Vasus is fire, earth, air, space, sun, moon, sky, and stars. The Rudras, the Rudras are really 11, and the soul make, make, um, make it 12. So the Rudras are what we call the different breaths. Pran, Apan, Pyan, Udan, Saman, Nag, Kurma, Krikal, Devadat, Danam, Jaya, and the Atma. And I would just like to explain slightly of what is Pran, Apan, Vyan, Udan, and Saman. Prana is the air that goes upwards from the navel. So that is your inhalation. Apana is the air that goes down. That's when you breathe out now. The air that you breathe goes downwards from the navel and it is emitted through the anus. Vyan is the air that is diffused in different joints of the body. Udan is the air in the throat that moves upwards. So let us say the voice box. For you to hear my voice today, that air has to be circulating in the throat for you to hear my voice today. And Samano is the air that circulates above the navel and is essential for digestion. Now, Lord Brahma devotees, who is the creator of life, was given an assurance by Bhagwan Shankar Baba, Lord Shiva, that he is in charge of creation. And the reason I'm explaining this is because Lord Brahma had to do what is called tapasya to meditation. And through this meditation, he was able to do this for more than 100,000 years devotees. Lord Brahma meditated. And then he was able to gain the knowledge how to go ahead with creation. But once he had the Vishnu as a preserver, and Lord Shiva, I always describe Lord Shiva as the reconverter. Nothing is destroyed in this universe. Even when you when you peel like the yam and, and the orange and, and so on and other items and you throw it away in the compost heat, it creates something that is called a fungus. Firstly, and then it disintegrates. So it means to say, even in death, it creates a newness of life and, and shakti. So what we call, when Lord Brahma got this knowledge in our devotees, he firstly made what is called the four Kumaras, which is called Sana, Sanaka, Sanatan, Sanandana, Santa Kumar. These four decided to be single for the rest of their life and they were children right 
and added to this, their sibling is Nadad Muni and Lord Shiva's father-in-law, Dash Prachapati. And the reason I'm saying that it is the thinking of Lord Brahma's mind, this is the, the, the individual that was created through the thinking of Lord Brahma, and these beings came into existence. And, and now we will um, hear from Pandit Devaram. Ek baar prem se bolay Sri Ganesh Bhagwan ki jai. This is all tuning our thoughts a little invocation mantra. Hari Om Sri Ganeshaya Namo Namaha Sri Saraswati Namo Namaha Sri Guru Charana Kamal Bhyo Namo Namaha Sri Govindaya Namo Namaha Hari Om Vakrakunda Mahakaya Surya Koti Samabrabha Nirvanam Guru Meleva Sarvakarishu Sarvadha Om Nagindraya Trinochanaya Bhashmangalaya namah shivaya, nityaya shudhaya garambaraya, tasme mukara namah shivaya. Om siddhi buddhi pade devi, bhukti mukti padaini, mantra murti sara devi, mahalachmi namastuti, mahalachmi namastuti, rimsabul sri mahalachmi mata ki jai, pona putra hanumani ki jai. As you all will do a little chant to tune the mind in to that oneness of that Lord. Aum Bhaito Japo Harinam Shiva Ji Ki Mandar Gami Aum Bhaito Japo Harinam Shiva Ji Ki Mandar Gami Shiva ji ki mandir, Shiva ji ki mandir, Shiva ji ki mandir gami. Avo bheito japo hari naam, Shiva ji ki mandir gami. Sona ke aramurati bani hai, Sona ke aramurati bani hai. Sita or Sri Ram, Shiva ji ki mandir gami. Avo bheito japo hari naam, Shiva ji ki mandir gami. Shiva ji ki mandir, oh Shiva ji ki mandir, Shiva ji ki mandir gami. Avo bheito japo hari naam, Shiva ji ki mandir gami. Tulasi da sabajo bhagavana, Tulasi da sabajo bhagavana, Lachamana or Hanuman, Shiva ji ki mandir gami. Lachamana or Hanuman, Shiva ji ki mandir gami. Avo bheito japo harinam, Shiva ji ki mandir gami. Bolo jai Hanuman, jai Hanuman, jai Hanuman, jai Hanuman, jai Hanuman, jai Hanuman. Jai Hanuman, Jai Hanuman, Jai Hanuman, Jai Hanuman. Bajaranga Vari Ho, Bajaranga Vari, Bajaranga Vari Ho, Bajaranga Vari. Vira Hanuman, Vira Hanuman, Bolo, Vira Hanuman, Vira Hanuman. Jai Hanuman, Jai Hanuman. Jai Hanuman, Jai Hanuman, Bolo. Jai Hanuman, Jai Hanuman, Jai Hanuman, Jai Hanuman. Prem se bolay Sri Pawan Putra Hanuman ki Jai.
Welcome back, beloved devotees. As I said earlier, that um, the Grihas Ashram, which is the householder's life or marriage life, and the greatness of this life, devotees, is that if another great soul has to enter this earthly plane, it will come through a mother and a father. And it is important for us as living the householder's life that we give recognition and support to the brahmacharis or the single individuals or student life. And van plus, which is those in the what we, what we have to understand, devotees, is that the importance of the Grihas Ashram, they have to support everyone in this world. And today, marriages in itself has taken a different tone. And that different tone and the love between husband and wife has been 
eroded to such an extent that this Grihas Ashram is facing certain consequences in today's world that the pressure in holding a family together, both parents bringing up a, a child in this world, in the end devotees, it takes a village, it takes a community, it takes the entire world to come together to bring up young people. And the reason I'm emphasizing something for young people today is all I want young people to do is to say that whatever name you may call that Supreme Lord, that you believe that that Lord truly exists. And it means to say that when the person say that I am a believer in God, that is all I want the person to do initially. And going back now to your Ishta Deuta, this Ishta Deuta or Ishta Devi that you may worship and call that name, it means to say that when you do the job or the, the tapasya or penance on behalf of that particular Devi or Deuta by repeating a mantra such as Om Namah Shivai Om. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevai Om, etc. That what we have to recognize is that when you cross, uh, using a conservative figure, when you cross about 300,000 times saying this mantra devotees, then you will see the benefit of it. And this is why I'm saying concentrate on one favorite and this favorite will attract the rest to you in uh, in later times so if we take lord shiva devotees and ma parvati for example we see them as being of what we call the positive and the negative in a battery have you ever seen a battery that cannot produce current without the positive and the negative. So in life, without the mother, without the father, life could take a downward spiral. But when we have this unity between husband and wife and bringing up the children, we will see a better world. And it is important for us also devotees to recognize how are we going to not change the world, but how are we going to change ourselves? And most important in life, devotees, is what we call the ego of our own self-pride. Every morning that you rise, I am requesting of you to say, Lord, crush my ego. And let me become a humble servant at your lotus feet. When this self-pride raised devotees, we see many tensions in this world. And in the end, it takes two to have a battle or to have a war. But if once I say I am not getting into that arena of Saying, a lot of people say this particular sentence, devotees, are fighting up in life. And truly, what are we fighting up? To make ends meet? And meaning to say, if we say we see in life as a grace, grace from God, the kripa, the sustenance of that Supreme Lord. And one of my favorite sentences, have you ever seen a bird going to work, making economic value, and returning back home in the evening. And the question is, is that they, are, they go, they live a, a, a peaceful life, they sing the praises of the Lord, half past five in the morning, these birds, and when they see Suraj Narayan about to rise, 
they give praises and thanks to sin an additional day. Let us not be mesmerized of what is our desires in this world. These desires of ours is what makes us from time to time choose unwise things or let us say that which not benefit all people at the same time. So it means to say, as a king, as a leader, as individuals in this world, really and truly, the king should be able to treat all his subjects equally. And from being a person, an individual, we are able now to create communities, create villages, create camaraderie between husband and wife and extended throughout this be beloved country of ours, Trinidad and Tobago, that we are able to establish a certain level of dignity and love for each other. This love that I'm talking about, devotees, does not have a condition. This peace that I'm talking about, this shanti, prema shanti, this peace and love that we are really searching for, has no condition. It means to say, it naturally happens to you from within. And the reason that I called out the Septarishi's name and so on, Atri, Bharadwaj, uh, Vashish Muni, Vishwamintra, etc., that these individuals was able, through the grace and blessing of the Lord, behold something within their own mind's eye. And what they behold devotees is how the Dharma, it means to say Dharma was established through this dhyana and meditation that we know today. And in the end devotees, when we understand now that this scenario of making institutions and building more important than people and life in itself, meaning to say the other species of life, this is what has de degraded us to this state. So all I'm saying is that we have to change ourselves and by changing ourselves, we will be able to make the world a better place. This light, this duty, this kripa or grace of God is for every one on this earthly plane, an extension, the universe. The reason the earth is rotating now, devotees, around the sun, believe it or not, it is that the earth is part of the heavens. And by understanding that, I'll give you a, a, a simple um, technique. When the person in 1979, um, the Neil Armstrong went to the moon, and they were on the ground of the moon, for them to see the earth now, devotees, if they look down, they will see the ground of the moon. But for them to see the earth now, they have to look up. So, so as we understand how this universe, or our part of this universe is rotating, what we have to comprehend, devotees, is that we are part of the heavens. And we have to be understanding and be creative for newness to be, become whole. Oh, my.
somebody from her. From the temple. Huh? Someone from St. Julia. Hari 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 Hari
You're listening to the only 24 hours a day Hindu devotional radio station, Devi Prakash Kasangi on deviprakashkasangi.com and musicofdivinelight.com. Welcome back, beloved devotees. At this time, we will be doing our closing mantras, and I would like to thank each and every one of you all for listening to our Taram Satyam this afternoon through the grace and blessings of that eternal Lord. Hari Chapita to a me wa to a me woman chasika to a me wa to a me wa vidya dravinam to a me wa to a me wa sadabam mama de wa de wa om chandi om chandi om chandi Loka samasta sukilo bhavantu Loka samasta sukilo bhavantu Om Ek bal bolo siddhi Brahma devata ki jai Si sarsati devi mata ki jai Si bhagwan si hadi vishnu ki jai Si di lachmi devi mata ki jai Yadi shakti dulga devi mata ki jai Mahakali mata ki jai Hard had had Mahadev a key jay. Such as an art and turn a key jay. Such as an art and turn a key jay. Such as an art and turn a key jay. Jay jay, sit around the forty. Exactly. 